next piece we're putting together is the U. The U is actually supposed to look like a um, shovel and bucket. The shovel is on the other side and this is the bucket. You need your U and then two more pieces from your red rectangle. This one here and this one here. And that makes these two pieces out. These are going to be the handle for the U and then you also need one of your brads and the brad color may vary from kit to kit. Once again, if you want, you can go ahead and just add your pieces. Once you've done that, you take your long piece here and poke out the center hole. If you can just use a X-Acto knife or a utility knife to do that. Then you'll take this part and you have to be careful when you look at how you're going to glue it because when you lay it down here across you don't want to get any glue here in the center part so hold it over your U and take a good look at it and see roughly where you want to put glue so you only want to put glue right here and you only want to put glue right there and you can flip it over and make sure so the glue went off a little bit off there so you can um, wipe it off so then you take the next piece here and I'm going to ink this piece because these two pieces go on each other and this one I want to look like it's a little bit more behind and shadowed than the front piece. So I'm going to ink this one. I I'm not inking both of them because then they would both get that darker red on it and I really do want them to look slightly different. So what you're going to do is match up the edge here and then glue it here and here. So once again, there's only a few little places you're going to put glue. One is along the very edge here, along this very edge with glue, and then along this very edge with glue. No, nowhere else would you go ahead and glue it. So go ahead and flip your U over, match up your edges. So it's matching up this edge and then that edge gets put against there. And when you flip it over, all your edges should be matched up. And see how this is now darker? So it makes it look like this has been in the shadows. It gives it more dimension. And then right here is where we're going to put our um, brad. I like to just do a little hole. And these are very sharp. So you can um, put that on. And then you've got your brad on and just flip it over and open up the back side and your bread color might vary from kit to kit and then you've got your you